The newly elected president of Brazil, Lula da Silva, made his first overseas visit to Argentina. Within the scope of the visit, it was agreed to develop new military cooperation within the scope of improving bilateral relations. Argentine Defense Minister Jorge Taina said after the talks, There is no doubt that the best vehicle is the Striker, a well-known and battle-tested vehicle, followed by Guarani and finally Narinco, regardless of whether it is 6x6 or not. But since a major purchase is a brigade, there are other aspects to take into account. For these reasons, the military interprets Guarani as the most suitable option in all respects. We would like the government of Lula da Silva in Brazil to allow progress on the project through 2023. One of the priorities for Argentina is to complete the purchase of wheeled armored vehicles. Iveco Guarani 6x6 armored vehicles were borrowed from the 5th Mechanized Cavalry Regiment of the Brazilian Army in the summer of 2021 and subjected to tests in Argentina. During his stay in Argentina, he successfully passed technical operational, weapons tests and air flight tests on the Hercules C-130H aircraft. The Guarani program was launched in 2007 with the support of the Brazilian Ministry of Defense to replace the military's EE-11 Urutu series APCs and EE-9 Cascavel armored vehicles from the 1970s. Currently, the Guarani has the title of Advanced Armored Personnel Carrier produced in South America. Iveco opened its new facility for the production of defense vehicles in Set Lagoas in mid-2013. For the production of personnel carrier vehicles, approximately 60 vehicles were produced annually at this facility. The 6x6 armored personnel carrier presented in the project draws attention with its innovative nature by adding modern weapon systems, command and control, communication, systems.